PGA Sports and the PGA Tour proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Genesis Invitational. Today's coverage is just about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hi Luke and Rich, looking forward to following these two players again as they reignite their rivalry. I have a feeling we'll be in for some more exciting golf as these two battle it out. Well, certainly a great opportunity for this player to bounce back in this rivalry. Can't wait to see what sort of excitement that these two generate. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Second shot here on the first. Opting for the five wood. Well, they got after that one right up near the surface. Good play. What a sensational play on this par five there, Luke. Just didn't drop. Always nice to have a birdie putt. Well, Rich, that's ideal. A birdie to start the day. I've never been disappointed by starting off my round with a birdie, Luke, I can tell you that. We know that Riviera starts with a 5-4, but it may as well be a 4-5 because the par 4 second is tougher than the par 5 first. I've never seen a golf course where you're so happy to start off birdie bogey. It's the strangest thing I've ever seen. The second hole, pretty straight away off the tee shot. The second shot moves a little bit from left to right back up the hill. There is some space on the right-hand side to miss your second shot up by the green, but there's no guarantees that it'll kick hard enough right to left to get back on the green. It's a sensational second hole. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Hey, guys, we are checking in with Lexi Thompson as she gets set for her next shot here on the third. OK, let's get back to the action. 14 uh, footer. This for back to back birdies. It's on a great line. Oh, look who's getting on a roll now. That's back to back birdies. That's a momentum maker, isn't it? Back to back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. Pacific Palisades in California, the site of Riviera, the third hole, par four. Elevated tee shot. And a fairly generous fairway, a little bit more room out to the left than what players can see off the tee shot. Second shot is going to be downhill to a green that basically chases away from the player going from the front portion of it all the way to the back. Difficult to get your second shot close here. Henny, what's the player facing here? He's setting up here from about 115 yards. Great looking shot this. Ah, yes. Hard to believe you could be that accurate from so far away taking things up a notch in this Lexi Thompson rivalry, that shot will add some fuel to the fire. Currently at minus three for the event. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. 
so many wonderful holes at the George Thomas designed Riviera Country Club. This par three fourth has to be one of them. This is a spectacular par three. Ideally, players want to hit a tee shot that moves significantly from right to left and moving with the contour of the green. If they can do that, then they've got an opportunity to hit it really close. If they challenge the pin off the tee shot, well, it could come up short in that bunker, and that is a massive no-no. That's a little wayward. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. Let's take a look at Lexi Thompson. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Oh, I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. That was special. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? That's a well played chip shot there. Love watching this player around the greens. Now eight shots back after that hole. Rich, the PGA Tour is basically a power game these days, although the fifth here at Riviera forces players just to hold off off the tee. The fairway does run out about 310 yards off the tee, and players not necessarily going to hit driver here. They have to be mindful that the fairway pitches significantly from right to left on their tee shot. From there, they're hitting their second shots downhill again to a green that chases away from them front to back. Again, a simple looking second shot, but a difficult one to get close. That should find the surface. Terrific approach and a chance for a birdie here on the fifth. And Henny, what are they looking at here? The perfect leave. Uphill can be firm. Tracking. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. The sixth hole here at Riviera is very unique, isn't it, Rich? Who puts a bunker in the center of the green? No one else except for the folks at Riviera Country Club. I love this hole. Looks to be going with the five iron. That's a good shot by him. He'll be delighted. Well, this would be a bonus. This is a very long putt. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Three feet to go here to the hole. And that puddle drop. Well done. We pick up our coverage at the seventh. Getting ready to play their third. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. That might be one club too many. Oh, great shot. Holes out for a birdie. Well, that'll move her up the leaderboard as well. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Let's head to the par four seventh at the Riv again. It's a par four that requires placement of the tee. The fairway bunker down the left-hand side comes in quicker than you can imagine. And so players want to try and hit it out towards the far right part of it. But again, you push it a little bit, and now the Barranca comes into play. If you find the fairway, happy days. This green is probably one of the most severe tilted from back to front. Players need to make sure their second shots land past this hole in order for it to come back down towards the hole. You will have a downhill putt, but it's better than coming up short. Oh, that one just missed the hole. John, give us a small update. 
Hey guys, we are checking in here with Lexi Thompson as she gets set for her next shot here on the eighth. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Wow, what a save. That was spectacular, Luke. Great work, great shot. Just a short putt remaining here. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. And that will take him to five under. He's in a share of seventh place. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. The par four right at Riviera is a choose your own adventure. Which fairway do you like to take? I think most players are gonna try and go down the left-hand side as it seems to be the easier of the two these days. However, where they stick that flag stick, well, that's a different question. If they stick it up front right, the left-hand side of the fairway, that's not the easiest approach. So better be mindful of where that flag stick is in order to pick which side of the fairway you wanna drive it down. Oh, that was pure. Putting for birdie here. Looking really good, this one. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. Back-to-back -back birdies never hurt, Rich. Gotta like it. He's feeling it. Currently six under for the round. The final hole on the outward half is a par four playing back up towards the clubhouse, Rich. That's a good par four. Only the big hitters are going to be able to carry that fairway bunker down the left-hand side. Most players are going to try and avoid it and even miss it, the fairway out to the right-hand side, which is not a bad miss. From there, the second shot is directly uphill. Deep, deep bunkers on the front right part of this. That is not the place to miss it. Anything that's a little bit long will leave you a downhill putt, but that's the safe play. Uh-oh, this one's out, heading towards the rough. That's a tad wayward. Not quite finding the surface. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. Ooh, that's a tasty looking chip. Top shot. Judging it beautifully. Johnny Mack. What's the news? Hey, guys, we are checking in down here with Lexi Thompson as she gets set for her next shot here on the 10th. Oh, terrific. What an effort. Check this out. Holding it out from the fairway. That away. Great shot. Will Zalatoris currently in the lead as we head to the next tee. One of the most often discussed holes in all of golf is the par 4 10th here at Riviera Ridge. There's so much strategy. It's either driver or three wood for every player in this field, but you better be good with distance because this green is very narrow. Wow, that's bold. went down nice recovery there you better believe it is great stuff to watch he's currently tied for sixth the power 5 11th one of the better scoring holes on the course players are thinking four when they stand on this tee it's just a long straightaway par 5 almost a runway if you like both sides of this fairway flanked by huge eucalyptus trees, which frames this tee shot brilliantly. You find the fairway, second shot, once again, straightforward. You must avoid that bunker front right at all costs. That is deep and nasty. You're not going to enjoy being in there. Let's go to our man, John, on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Hey, guys, we're checking in down here with Lexi Thompson as she gets set for her next shot here on the 12th. 
Oh, my. Oh, right at it from out of the bunker. And here we are with the third shot. Just a couple back from our leader. Oh, that was tidy. That should ensure the up and down. Got to say, his short game is phenomenal. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. Well, that's a lovely way to make a move into the top five. Colin Morikawa currently on top spot as we pause for a look at the leaderboard. When you stand on the 12th tee, Rich, you're thinking to yourself, oh, a couple of strong back-to-back -back par 4s and it starts right here. This is where the golf course gets extremely difficult, Luke. This tee shot moves from left to right, but massive overhanging eucalyptus trees down the right-hand side prevents you from hitting a high draw over them. Once you're in the fairway, though, your second shot is to a green that's really not as big as it should be for such a long hole. And there's a famous tree just short and left of this green, Bogey's tree. Not because of the score, because Humphrey Bogart used to sit there and just watch everybody butcher this hole. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. He's two shots back. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. A wonderful shot and a birdie opportunity coming up at the 12th. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Hey, guys, we're checking in with Lexi Thompson down here as she gets set for her next shot here on the 13th. Well, that's a beautiful bunker shot there. And back to the play, shall we? Oh, this would be a good putt to make. And with it, a share of third spot. It's looking solid. Oh, that's a ripper. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. Rich the 13th hole. Slightly different look off the tee. It's really cool. This tee shot is framed by large eucalyptus trees, both right and left, requires a draw. Nothing else to do. You have to move this golf ball from right to left off this tee. If you do it correctly, well, that golf ball could chase down there miles down this fairway. If you find the fairway down there, you're going to love the second shot. The difficulty gets when the pin is all the way back left in this little peninsula. You miss it a little bit left there, you're going to find the barranca, and you're probably going to find a bogey or worse. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine -nine. That was a beauty. This putt to get to double digits under the card. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Right by the hole. And this putt coming up for his par. That's a disappointing par in the end after such a terrific shot in. And that would have tied the lead for this player. Disappointing to say the least. He finds himself in a share of fourth. The 14th, Rich, I know it's dear to your heart. The par three, you made an ace there in tournament history, won a car. How do you tell the players to play it? Hit a seven iron, uh, a high little draw seven iron, and two hop it right in the hole, Luke. That's what I suggest. That makes it easy. You love watching people play the game when it's like this. It looks so easy. Another green in regulation. This is an absolute clinic. Looks good off the blade. Yeah, we'll take that. John, you're down there. What's happening? Hey, guys, we are checking in with Lexi Thompson as she gets set for her next shot here on the 15th. This putt is for birdie. That is hunting for the hole. Oh, that's frustrating. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard.
This 15th hole, a very strong par four, Rich. Challenging, to say the least. It's a great par four, and yet there's some players that have seen it a little bit differently lately. I always saw it as a dog leg from left to right. Just avoid that fairway bunker down the right-hand side. And this is an interesting green. It's got a high spot on the left, and it's got a low middle section and a high section on the right-hand side, and you never have a flat putt. It is always breaking one direction or another, and it's either straight uphill or straight downhill. This is the most difficult green on the golf course by a long margin. If you see it differently, you can hit it down the right, down 17 fairway, but I fail to see how that's any kind of advantage. Mm, that's right out of the copybooks. Exquisite. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. Mm, good chance, this one. Right on six feet. This for a birdie birdie run. Looking good so far. And that will drop in for birdie. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. And at the end of that hole, he's gone into clear outright leader. The 16th hole, short par three, Rich, uh, but really good if he can get it close. It's an island green, if you can believe that. It's surrounded by bunkers. I think this is another one of the all-time great designs. It's only about 160 yards, Luke, but the whole green is surrounded by bunkers. Everything feeds towards the center and the front of this green once it gets on there. I just think this is a magnificent design. If you hit it in any one of those bunkers, making a par will be nearly impossible. Oh, don't tell me, did she hold that? Needed it, needed that in a big way, chipping in for the par. This part of about seven feet to the hole. Oh, well played. Still in the lead now after that hole. As we head back up the hill towards the clubhouse, we're faced with the par 5 17, the long, strong par 5. At all costs, do not hit it in that fairway bunker down the right hand side. Anywhere to the left, even in the rough left, is just fine. From there, your next shot should be laid up out to the right-hand side. Third shot straight back up the hill with some kind of wedge. It can be an easy birdie if you get the distance on your third shot spot on. If you get it wrong, however, you could have some issues. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Getting ready to play their third. Currently in the lead by a shot. Good shot there, Beamer. Lining up the birdie putt here. Yeah, you like the look of that right off the blade. Stop if you've heard this before. Tiger is coming off a birdie on his last hole, and that will take him to one off the lead. The finishing hole at Riviera, famous for so many exciting finales in uh, tournament history. Rich, take us through the tee shot and approach. Tee shot up the hill, fairway tilts significantly from left to right missing it out to the right is a massive no-no you'll be blocked out by a bunch of eucalyptus trees that you cannot hit it through second shot is to a green that actually tilts away from the players not towards them even though the second shot is uphill green is historically one of the firmest on the golf course and getting it close is nearly impossible it is a heck of a finishing hole should find the green here
Wonderful shot into the 18th and a chance for Birdie. And a fantastic look upcoming. And that'll be all she wrote today. Well played. And folks, at the end of this first round, he's going to find him.